I think he loves Russia. <laughs> and I see in love with Russia, but that's okay. But these people, they analyze every single word and they follow us. And you know what? The good news is uh, we can get the word out. We can get the word out. And the word that I get out is what's happened to steel in this country, Dave just said, over the last six months. Even though we've been here for a little more than a year and a half, but we really hit it big over the last six months with what we've done. They were dumping steel all over the country. Dumping it like it was garbage. And they were putting all of you people out of work. Now you're making your own steel. And the United States is taking in billions of dollars, they never say that, and also jobs. And also, we're recreating a giant industry. We need steel. We need steel plants. And to see an old, big, monster plant like this reopening, that is an honor. And I look at the faces of you people. I could be one of you. I could be one of you. I like you guys. I like you guys. seven plants and expand them. They're taking areas that they never thought they'd see again in these big old plants. They have a little corner of the building and now they're taking half the building and all of this giant building. It's a big difference then. Thank you very much for doing a great job. workers here at Granite City Mill help build the most powerful and prosperous nation ever to exist on the face of the earth. They pour the sweat from their brows and the love from their souls to support their families and they love their country. We all love our country. So I did it, 
and I did when we were the strongest. We're having the best economy we've ever had in the history of our country. straighten out the worst trade deals ever made by any country on earth ever in history. These deals were made by people, I don't know if they didn't understand or if they didn't care or if they didn't frankly love our country. But we have the worst trade deals ever made in history. But now they're becoming good again. never surrenders. We don't wave the white flag, we only wave the flag that we love. It's called red, white, and blue. And it's called